presidential debate uh, organized by So today is very interesting, as you can see, yeah, both. So I get uh, one of the tough talking uh, politician. Tio, good afternoon, welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Prosper Quay. And thank you to all the members of the podcast, the Ibitos, who are doing the podcast. I want to say thank you for you. And thank you to the LMDR. Thank you very much. You are served uh, today a uh, debate uh, organized by Inter News. Well, what's your take? What I saw today, I saw insincerity in the debate for the candidates. Mm -hmm. I saw, I saw, I saw deceit. I saw deceit, Most, mostly in the candidate for Nathaniel Baba. Mm -hmm. I want to challenge the credibility and the nationalistic attribute of Nathaniel Baba. Nathaniel is not fair to the people of Kenya. Nathaniel has not been fair to the people of member states. Comes the 20th of this month to elect Nathaniel Baba to be the worst decision for the show ever made. But why you say Nathaniel Baba is not fair? Someone would like to say to you. Nathaniel Baba CV is very rich. The young man CV is rich. But we declare when election was determined on the CV, Nathaniel Baba will be elected based on the CV. Nathaniel Baba says he's a country of law. He's a country of law. Why would Nathaniel Baba when the level is in power now in prison? Before we tear them. All of the guys were in prison, people dying. It was a Nibae, it was a Gonglo, who took the challenge, took the boob by home, and defended the people. Where was Nathan Baba as a lawyer? Where was he? Why can Nathan Baba point at one person that he had help with all of the rich employees and job experience? What has he done? Nathan Baba is a fake country, Nathan Baba is a seer, and nobody should look at Nathan Baba in the election. So among those five persons, why you have issue with Nathaniel Baba? Someone would like to say, do you have any issues with EU or on the The or, first thing is that offended you before. The reason society educates you is to come out of pay by the society. Mm -hmm. If you don't pay by the society, you are ingrained. Nathaniel Baba is an ingrained. You have not paid by the society. Others are going to be there. 
They never has a color. As a color, the point of something at all, yeah. He stated it there. They never check money of you. He stated it. They are cheap and country kind of crap. They never judge them when I say, Oh, I don't want me. You are the way, like, I want a legacy there. They never ask you to go. As you put your speech there. But Nathan of Baba cannot point at anything. Somebody will, Baba. And the new Baba is a traditional name in this county. They got a cotton. They got a village. Nathan of Baba is an ingrate. A Grenadine should not elect it. Let Nathaniel Baba have six years to go back to employ Grenadine to defend Grenadine. Look at the look, look at the deceit in him. Today yeah. coming to court, send a rest of the children in December. Today coming to court, he's going to police station. Why is that? Put out a jail court. The police get asked the court to put the raw jail court. A civil and Nathaniel Baba is deceiving our people. Is that real? So thank you. Your chief patron, I just sent myself from this entire process, in person of Kami. And you, you, you are, you know, uh, <laughs> castigating other people who, you know, took upon their time to come here and explain their platform to the public. As a so journalist, you also say you are an as an individual. As a journalist, Ebony Cooper, as a journalist, as a journalist, you must be accurate in your question. <laughs> LMD did not say on our commission for this destiny himself. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. That is in destiny itself, right? Is there only one commission for that? Did not appear. But I'm speaking of the. No, listen to me. Is there only one who you supporting? We have proved that destiny itself. Is that true that you supporting Kemi? I am a supporter on our commission for this. That is clear. And let me tell you something. In a election, on Kemi is here to swallow. He not here to lick. Because it's possible you lick and nobody swallow it. So they will lick it and you swallow it. The fact that we make it clear. LMD is working in collaboration with NEC. And the case submitted to NEC Board Commissioner about people that are about the Damisa law. On Kemi and NEC told LMD that they are issued with six candidates. They are discussing with them. So on Kemi wrote an official letter and said, I did it myself. That became an issue. But it's not sadly that the journalists that you get accurate balanced information. We come here, question me, say, on a Kemi Jason, he said, and they cannot provide evidence to, to his question. I'm highly disappointed in that. On a Kemi is an intellectual, on a Kemi is a immaterial, is a immaterial, on a Kemi is a developmental account in this county. Some would like to say because you support on a Kemi, that's how you, that's why you have issue with uh, uh, Bagba, Nathaniel. Uh, the first thing there is that there are 50 percent in the election. And I just told you that Nathaniel Baba is fake. So it is not only Baba. But the fact remains that I have my side in this in politics. You know politics are interest me. Mm -hmm. You know. I support the Kemi. I got to defend. If the Kemi lies on a platform, I will tell you say chill. No. This is why every bullet point on the Kemi's platform is real, it's concrete, it's not extra. It is flexible. On the Kemi say if I structure that, I have development. We'll show you the hotel. We'll show you the, 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 place, the place where we'll show you who must handle room. You know, can we say agriculture? We'll show you a farm. So everything on can be shot for It's real. Nothing fake in it. But on our Natal Baba is fake. He's insincere. On our Natal Baba is a deceitful son of the Baba. He's not real. I mean, before we take leave of you, what's your final saying? Uh, what happened here is that the SLMDR, the SLMDR debate, is to bring the candidate and the, and, and the constituents into a forum where they will interact. So we want to appreciate them, we want to appreciate LMDR, but we want to say to the people of Chen District, do not vote wrongly. There are two deceitful candidates in the race. There are two candidates that are not real. They are fake people. There are two PM in the election. And one is Tatar Baba, two is Jeremiah Gao Soka. They are fake, and I'm willing to take, to take to take our airtime in your studio, in fact, I'll tell you why Soka is fake and Soka should not be given an opportunity. Why Soka is fake? Someone would like to say. Never said. You supported Soka before. No, it was reciprocation. Soka supported my camp 2020 during the election. We reciprocated. But now, I have no Soka. Why you supported us open and open and not supporting Soka this time around? Why so? No. That was a sense of journalists. In fact, I will tell you that I'm not sorry. My opinion is supporting six persons in the election. You support soccer? You mean so open no supporting this person? I say, Do you have fat? Listen, when in the election, so they don't show you my opinion is a coward. Who is a coward can hide here? I don't show you my opinion is a coward. And I'm willing to take, to be a studio guest, 
to invite me in your studio and I'll provide your evidences. The evidences to what's my claim, what made Natalia Baba fake, what made Jeremiah Gasson fake, and make the worst decision that your church should ever make. If given that opportunity. You are supported on a Soka, and now you come on a Soka fake because you support Kemi. The fact that Kemi on a Soka is not our rival. On a Kemi is a uniter. You don't see any balance of our rival. So the first thing there is that I got no reason. Thank you, you say I supported Soka before. Okay, now I see the election, he left from this place and went. I want to say, in fact, me. Because of this virus. Let's see. In fact, me. In fact, I, I have a forum. Now listen to that. But this is a question. I think this is not, this is not, this is a question to you. On oh, okay, in last day election, a few years ago, and now people yet to identify you up to this time. And the first thing there is that somebody who running a business in a, in a constituent. Somebody who running a business in a constituent instead of the person who run away. Why did you tell me that after you lost the election, you keep coming here as an ordinary businessman? Now as a politician, you don't have an issue. Although you came here as a taxpayer, yeah. You pay taxes for a proper test here. You get me? So now, I want to say as a journalist, to have a slow atmosphere of discussion. I will never set this studio to discuss, but for now, thank you. The two persons are very fake. The very good point you can invite me, and then I'll end up on my very prosperous way. Invite me. I have the political strength, the ability to discuss for now to the two of their business. No, there is time for everything. 2029, 2029, I'll be a familiar force in Great Politics. What's the assurance? I'm telling you, my face and this recording is the assurance. All right, thank you so much. So let's talk to this uh, civil society uh, actors who also observe the process. Welcome to DTV. You have to be audible. Thank you very much. Are you scared? No, 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 no. Your name? Okay, I'm Moses from Tizu Africa. Uh, from, uh, I'm from the Prince of Peace yeah. Initiative, which is a civil maintenance organization. <laughs> You observe this process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what your observations? Okay, thank you very much for the question. I want to give my thanks and appreciation to the LMDR, head of our John Collins for his hard work and for a peaceful debate among our candidates. Ready? From our observation, I've observed a high esteem love among our candidates because they share jokes, they laugh, they shake hands. We are really grateful to, for LMDR, to LMDR for such a peaceful debate. Yeah, I'm grateful for that. Was the debate actually great? Well, thank you very much. Everybody has played their part. You know, it's a political debate. People got to say what they think they can say. But really, as for our side, what I really observe and what we are really praying for is that the debate be peaceful. And it was peaceful. Uh, we did debate impact the lives of Benjamin and Chen to be precise? Thank you very much. Uh, the debate really, we don't know the inside of men. But we have heard what men could say. But really, everybody has spoken their part. And Grandjidans have listened. But what we want to say is this. To all Grandjidans, that's by your political interest. That's by who you are supporting. That's by who you lead your propaganda against. We have come to stand together. Let peace prevail. One of these person has lied, or this person has spoken the truth. All we want is this. Let peace prevail. Let peace reign. Thank you so much. Let peace reign. We continue to get views on this debate. And this is after the representative, after the representative uh, by election 2024 in Chien District, and we are blessed to have one of the station manager who also has helped the process. Ali Mona Dweji is the manager of Flash Radio 102.2 from the Civil Society background. Ali, good afternoon, welcome, Chief. Uh, good day. It's a pleasure being on the platform and also sharing my thoughts with your many followers. And today, you observe this process. Tell us uh, your observation for this. Well, it was essential owing to the fact that this is not an ordinary debate. Uh, the debate was organized by the LMDR. So uh, we expect every uh, other candidate uh, to come and inform the people what they have in store for them. Uh, like you follow it, we only have five candidates who appear. And we are grateful to the LMDR team that they made it necessary that this debate will go for actually two days. And uh, we expect the ballot team to appear Monday, uh, where they're going to inform uh, the people of Chien District uh, how they intend to run the activities in Chien District, how well they're going to represent them in the House of Representatives after 
uh, the passing of the late uh, Honorable Ira Madison Green. But remember, this is not only in Granji that this uh, 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 debate is happening in. It is also happening in Nimba County, where, where uh, someone have to replace the, the, the vice president who was a senator in Nimba. So it was good today, and we observed five candidates uh, uh, giving their, 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 their thoughts and what they're actually going to be doing for the course of, of changes. And so Monday, we expect a different reaction, we expect a different presentation from about 10 candidates. But we noticed that some candidates were in Granji there, but we don't know actually what happened. Uh, they didn't appear. Well, so it is our prayer that uh, Monday we're going to use the radio to inform them that, that the, the LMDR team is still in uh, Granji there and they need to make their appearance and talk to the people. This is one of the best ways of promoting themselves, one of the best ways of telling the people how well they're going to represent them in the House of Representatives. You also have uh, among those five Kennedy, there are many fetus. Uh, in terms of representing Chian district, you observe over a year. And who do you think actually have the best in replacing Ira Madison Green for the first 10 of, for the first five of the 15? Well, uh, someone will say this is a puzzle and, and you cannot determine who uh, will win this particular by election. It left with the candidates to see how best they can use that persuasive mentor to win more followers or win more. Uh, 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 voters on board in making sure that they use that particular mentor uh, to win this particular election. But if you will mind the presentation, if you will mind uh, 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 the way in which they speak to the people, then back then I'm going to take you back to the senatorial post where we have the likes of uh, uh, Thomas Yaya Nimne, uh, the likes of uh, Honorable Amos Le, uh, uh, the likes of uh, Honorable Sarah Scooper, when we have the same debate in the same city hall. But then it must let him last minute of time where they were having this uh, read my role on this issue of who uh, uh, who did this for Granji there during the post uh, the post uh, civil war and so uh, when the, the, the issue of it must let brought that different reaction in the building but at the end of the day we have uh, honorable so Emmanuel Penny who we, we actually see uh, there is see in the building by the end of the day he won the election. And so it just left with them to play their card. This particular election, we cannot predict. As for me, I cannot predict who's going to win this particular Somebody would like to say what is important. Why will this debate impact the lives of Chiang Dishki? Well, like I said, from the onset, it's very, very much essential. And kudos to the team LMDR for coming because they, they actually want the people who want to represent uh, Chiang Dishki. Remember, this is the face of Granji. So if you want to represent the people of Chen District, you actually need to tell them what you're going to do. Like the late Ira Madison Green, we listened to a few questions back then. Uh, he was giving his 50%. And now you listen to Justin Runner, mm -hmm. he said that he's going to give his, he's going to give 10% <laughs> to the people of Chen District. So you see the importance of this debate. Mm -hmm. So someone would like to say, uh, you did mention about other people in county and they don't appear. And someone asked him, will you mention so? Some of those candidates you observed in county and today was not able to appear for the debate? Well, I think due to that engagement or late calls from the team, uh, the likes of uh, Honorable Samson Boso William, uh, the likes of uh, Honorable Sarah Scupo, uh, these, are, these are candidates that are actually uh, I laid my eyes on when I was uh, coming to this Swahili City Hall. But I didn't see them yet. So we, we actually pray that they, they, they can come and make their way at the Zoyu City Hall on Monday and, and come and, and come to talk to the people of, of, of Chien District. Uh, if we take leave of you, what's the final saying, Chief? I uh, thank you for, for, for the podcast. I uh, thank you for showing uh, to the people that this is important and they need to make their way at the Zoyu City Hall. Thank you to all of your followers. We pray that you keep following this, this online uh, uh, TV because once you follow it, you get the best and you get the, the, the important information. And so we keep following. Probably Monday, we're going to be here. And Monday, we're going to use the same radio to encourage them. That I'm from the, the, the media, I mean, from the, from the radio background. And so we're going to use the radio in making sure that they come uh, on Monday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, folks. This is all we have for you on to this segment of our broadcast. This is after the debate in Chiantishka, Grand Yellow County. Every possible way, been on your